Hi, Sagittarius. <clears throat> so we're going to go through your reading now. I've just been cleaning out my brain, everything this morning, getting situated to talk to you. This Ace of Swords right in the beginning. Not only clarifies a fresh start, but it also signifies that you're ready. That you're ready to see and put up boundaries with a Leo or in Leo season. It's for compassion. It's for yourself. It's for the purpose of not overextend, learning how not to overextend yourself. And it's just so that you could become more of yourself. It's not to punish anyone. It's not to punish yourself. That, that's not the point of any of this. It's the healing that comes along. And it's also how this brings you even more luck and abundance. And it also, this brings you out of something that you've been in for a while. A phase or a certain emotion that no matter what you felt in any other moments, the baseline emotion could have been confusion, could have been fear. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of cards just fell out. All right, we're gonna go through them. I'm gonna leave the bottom of the deck over here. And yeah, let's do this. So it's about maybe using this moon cycle. We just had the moon in Cancer this month, the new moon. There's a full moon, new moon coming up in Leo on the 4th. I'm sorry, I was like, what the fuck is the sign's name? With Leo on the 4th, right? And we also have... <coughs> <coughs> the Aquarius full moon. So, if you want to take this from the Leo new moon on the 4th to the Aquarius full moon... On the 19th, when the sa that same day, Jupiter then squares Saturn. And that's in Pisces now. The moon card has not shown its face yet. But during this time, you will be experiencing what you need to. This was down here. My apologies. I believe this is on here. Yeah. No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm sorry. I My cat messed up the cards a little. Me apologies. Either way. Um, we're just going to leave it where it is. This is bringing you in, rushing you, urging you to take control of your life because if you, there's a certain point that when we're being given and shown something over and over again, it's because something's about to change. Something in your life is about to happen, right? Whether it's exposing yourself to we're all being exposed to something and whether it's exposing yourself to stuff that you've needed to see for so long because emotionally it's been somewhere else and the moment you focus on yourself the moment you put your energy back into yourself which is what making these boundaries are which is what being clear and being able to express that clarity in a way that is you Sagittarius there was a time Maybe for the past couple years, maybe a few years ago, I feel like this has, and I see this, this has longevity to it. There's been a time in your life where, and it could have been even when you're younger, so just stay with me, where you were given a situation and for some reason being in touch with yourself in this situation wasn't safe. And then for some reason, that started to expand in your life. And it maybe became very intimate, could have been a partner, could have been this Leo. And then all of a sudden, you notice this pattern happening in many arenas of your life. This could have started with this person a situation, or it could have really started to expand with this person. And now you're at a place where you're understanding this control and how you can learn to have self-control over things, things, people, relationships, um... Because you've become very clear that what you want is more than just these moments or these these little stories to tell. You want this fulfilling life. You're in the journey. You're a Sagittarius. And for some reason, 
your mind has been and your psyche and the connection there has been off, right? You've had to go through something. You had to say, and, and I don't think you could have said it until now, but you've had to say like, I need help. I can do this and I can go about this, but if I don't have security that with what is happening, then I'm just jumping into what breaks my heart again. And sometimes we do need to break our hearts in order to open it. Like that's what I have learned. I've seen the quotes, but it's also I've learned like breaking the breaking through of your heart sometimes is you giving the love that you need. And that's the breaking through you giving yourself the structure, this opportunity. If you're a Sag rising, Aquarius will be in your third house of communication, close family. You will have Cancer in the eighth house, your mental health, resources, yours and other people's. You settle in. This is you settling into yourself, maybe even your higher self or the, the part of you that you are starting to associate more. There had been maybe a disassociation for a while. The structure and the foundation of your heart and where it's been centered was maybe around someone else's psyche. So a little insight of the psyche is like when you're in someone else's home, like even growing up with your parents, it's not your home, it's theirs. It's your home, but it's their home. Their psyche, whoever's the strongest energy I've learned, is going to be given light more. Their psyche is going to overpower and that is the patterns that will be playing out until you find your own, until you find your own space and your own way. And this is you finding your own way, you trusting life, that you're birthing something new, that you can reform the structure that you thought was so set in stone. It's not. Because what's funny about you guys is that no matter where this falls in your chart, and as the Sag North Node and learning about it even more, um, what you're going to note, especially the earlier degrees, this is going to be um, a turning point. The square is like, is a, is a challenge or a test or just a carving and showing you it's like, who are you really in this time? You know, if you really deeply connect to this part of you that is so philosophical and sees things the way you see things, can you allow yourself to realize that the best opportunity is yet to come if the right one doesn't show up? And that for now, you don't, you know, you don't toy with, it's like when my cat plays with a fly before he kills it because like he doesn't go outside and we've had no mice, that there is something to your worth where you play with things in order to have a little bit of control but then when things progress and it starts to be and it starts to uh, exacerbate that in a negative way you then don't realize that you have to take accountability for portraying that in order to change it right that's just one example and that could be in love, and that could be, oh, I've entertained this for a while, all of a sudden I feel like I'm good at it, I got power, and I could do this, and all of a sudden it backfires because, Sag, you're, we're all being pushed to our purpose. That's the underlying tone, and I'm going to keep that there. And you're being pushed to see where you need to let go of control because it's a pattern that's been long held within your heart. And it got to your voice and there's something about your voice that hasn't been adding up. And now you're able to connect deeper because you're able to feel safe within your psyche in a way that maybe you haven't in a long time. Safe within your heart. Where's Taurus? Um, Sag Risings. Taurus will be in your sixth house. Of, okay, perfect. If work seems fine and you feel like you're able to be able to be uh, yourself at work or give a version of yourself that you're really proud of, um, you know, set the uh, set the boundaries or not. For some of you, will have to set the boundaries and you'll see the change and disruption over the years because Taur a lot of Taurus has come out and Uranus is in Taurus right now. Mars was in Taurus, but and that I think showed you the weight of your decisions. And now that Mars is in Gemini, you're able to then communicate. 
the compassion that you show yourself is what helps build strength and knowing this knowing yourself knowing the risk chiron just went retrograde in aries aries is in your fifth house for babies so be careful if you're um not trying to get pregnant and if you are it's a great time if you're not though just be very careful and also notice if you're wanting a child because you want to heal and if that's actually appropriate right i can't tell you what to do it's just noticing if it's appropriate um you'll have many love opportunities and like i said the ones underneath it's really important to wait because something's not settled in your brain yet and sometimes we need other people but right now you need yourself and what happens is that if you allow this to happen and progress slowly you'll see who they really are you'll be you'll both be forced to face you'll be forced to surrender and they'll be forced to face whatever controls they have or power dynamics um and you'll see maybe where they have come from you may also be around people and needing to be more quiet why because it's not worth sharing what you're sharing um not that your voice isn't worth it that's not what i'm saying but towards the end of the month you may feel almost inclined or provoked to say something just because you know or say something because that's a big thing right now is your voice is learning what to say what not to say where is your self-control where does it get you in trouble and it's not even just like it's trouble but it gets you down a road where all of a sudden you just can't fucking stop so it's learning to like if you have never roller whatever it's learning to pump the brakes it's learning to know you have them and be aware of them right and your love life is showing you a lot right now so if the slower that you can take it like you can take a chance it's just the slower that you can take it would probably be very worth it for you because you're learning a lot about how your brain works through romantic endeavors and you're noticing where your emotions tie up with how emotionally intelligent you are and where how you can't and how that meets your ego or it meets your control because the leo cards coming out too is is a sense of it's your ego so there is a sense of control there there's a grasping there's a wanting to have it i'm just gonna spark up while we continue because all of the cards have fallen out i don't feel called to pull any more right now um because so sorry not just because when you speak from your place even if it feels weird or confusing at first you'll eventually get to what you're trying to say you'll eventually get to the heart of it there may be feelings associated with this this there may be doubts but the the best thing to do is to trust right now not because you have control not because you're trying to predict the future or you're putting don't put spells on yourself right we don't do that here it's leaning into that luck and trusting this this is a, <laughs> this is so funny this is the this is jupiter square saturn jupiter and saturn came out mercury will move into libra on the 29th as we have already transitioned to virgo season so from the 19th to the 29th that's your time to take a look and try your best to be unattached and if you're going to reflect to see it in a way where you're not emotionally invested like if the emotions come up let them be let them let yourself feel them let them go but then bring them somewhere else let them be out there in all in the vast possibilities of your day-to-day -day life if you can journal or find yourself meditation or dreaming because there's this is what's helping you move beyond any doubt that you may feel that you may have felt and mercury and libra will cause the healing of virgo to like we can get stuff done in virgo but then things will start to balance out and you'll be able to not only be vulnerable but have a direction for it for some of you this could be reminding you of a libra or if you have Libra placements, 
either way, this is a catalyst for where you're going. As you're driving forward, as you're moving forward. There's a, a big balance at the end of the month between your desires, your dreams, what you have like how you see the vision and then actually putting your mind behind it if you can Sagittarius this month would be a great time to visualize and really feel into and allow yourself to see whatever's coming up as you visualize notice if there's roadblocks from the past or any things that come up know that that you have to that comes up because you have to go through that in order to get to the other side and during that process, maybe allowing yourself to envision getting to the other side and going and voyaging forward. Because there will be a Mercury retrograde until the 28th, right before Leo, it transitions from Leo into Libra. You don't go back into Virgo. From the 5th to the 28th, it will be in retrograde that will be your time to process that that's when prospects will arise for you to decide and I would wait cars are saying wait till the end of the retrograde wait until the 28th to really see if things are like don't jump too fast move too quick because Libra will want to take you there but because there's a clarity coming out with them because there's this independence in them right now all the signs there's this deep need for connection but there's this ramped up independence and autonomy and authentic authenticity this month because we need ourselves and we need us each individual needs us to be clear with ourselves if we can clear with where what our patterns are you know what's been hard what's been as a sign ruled by Jupiter, what's been hard, like leaning into your luck, like what's been blocking you from feeling lucky? Letting yourself truly process. Letting yourself emote is like drinking water. It's detoxifying your body. It's massaging your insides, in my opinion. I don't know if that's actually true. But then you got to let it just flush out. If there's a Capricorn in your life too, they could be really, really beneficial at this time because they're so good at this that they could help you find the very grounded ways and approaches. And, they're and if it's not a Capricorn, it could be a fatherly figure masculine figure a figure that um understands and you see how much you've been attached to certain materials but have been just a cover-up right that's what you and Libra have in common like you'll you'll out I mean everyone will do this in their own way but we can take it to the extreme where we'll just like buy that thing or do that thing where it really is impulsive and it's not a great idea so being this is showing you like how you when you invest more time into yourself you don't have as much time to invest into things just hiding you from yourself and it's not a read because you already know that like this is something I think you know you're aware of and it's saying like there's this will be balanced out this has to do with this the three to the six three on each scale this brings the clarity. This is where you weigh out what's necessary and needed because roads ahead are moving fast, especially when it comes to the home, especially when it comes to what you're working on independently. Exactly. Boom. There is your validation. All right, Sagittarius, this month is big. Use your voice. Be clear with what you want. Wait until you're clear. And if you want to wait a little longer and you're not feeling sure and it's not impulse driving you then i would say wait till the retrograde allow this to take you on the journey you're supposed to go on with yourself which is for fun yeah allow yourself to move forward running into yourself running into your, you're just like inspiring yourself into the future with 
purpose, with passion, with just so much intelligence and sophistication behind it as well. I'm excited for next month. Don't worry, things are just going to get better, but this is the this is a huge transition period. Stick it out. You got this. Buy yourself some flowers. Do something nice for yourself or whatever it is that you want to do. You know, roll a nice, get some nice flower if that's what you're into. Um, tea, set the tone, write it out. Give yourself a minute to be so inspiring to yourself. And I'll see you next month.